Security officials here at the Pentagon have not only evacuated the building, but they're clearing the entire area. Security forces have reported uh, that they have received information of another plane hijacking that it's about 20 to 25 miles out of Washington, D.C., headed in this general direction. Uh, Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld a few moments ago was refusing to leave the building. Uh, we ran into the chief naval officer, the top naval officer, uh, Admiral Vern Clark. They were loading him quickly into a car to take him to an alternative command site. Do you have me? They were taking they were taking Admiral Clark to a alternative command site. Hello, do you hear me? Yes, yeah, we, we can, do, Nick. Go ahead. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, there's there's no confirmation of this latest threat, but security officials here are taking it very seriously. We were standing with uh, Secretary Rumsfeld's security detail, uh, who, as soon as they got the report, went running into the building, and we were we were herded away. Uh, but uh, they have set up an alternative command site somewhere in the area. The Pentagon has set up a, a crisis team uh, to deal with this situation, uh, but so far the latest reports are that a, that another plane of some kind may have been hijacked and headed in this direction Katie. yeah uh, we also should tell you Mick this is Tom Brokaw that the FAA now says that all international flights headed for the United States are being diverted to Canada this at a time when as Jim Mikloshevsky is telling us there's an unconfirmed report that there's been another hijacking all takeoffs were stopped but there were planes in the air obviously at the time of these first two attacks in the twin trade towers and then on the Pentagon. Andrea Mitchell is standing by with more information. She was at the State Department. Andrea? The State Department, as you know, has been evacuated. Secretary of State Colin Powell is now en route home from Lima, Peru. He did not get to his destination of Bogota, Colombia today, so that trip canceled. He, as all other officials, heading back. Uh, State Department officials and the White House officials and the NSC have all been evacuated as well, although Condi Rice was earlier in the Situation Room, and CIA Director George Tenet has been holding meetings in his office in Langley, Virginia. And as we reported earlier, key FBI team members from their rescue efforts and anti-terror coordinating team were stranded in Monterey, California, where they were on a secret, uh, secret uh, exercise, military exercise, right. against exactly this kind of event. Andrew, have to, yes, Andrew let me interrupt for a second. Can you tell us any more about reports we're getting that a car bomb has exploded outside the State Department? I do not have confirmation of that. All right. They did evacuate the State Department, but we do not have confirmation at this moment about a car bomb outside the State Department. You know, Andrea, thanks. I'm sorry to interrupt, but we're going to go back to Jim Mikloshevsky at the Pentagon. Mick? Uh, I've got my eyes peeled here, Katie. I don't see anything, uh, but security forces in the area have just blared out over their loudspeakers to any pedestrians who are anywhere near the Pentagon to take cover immediately. Uh, there was, as I said earlier, an indication that uh, another plane may have been hijacked and headed in this general direction. So far, all we see are security helicopters circling the Pentagon. Uh, again, the skies are crystal clear blue, and I can't see the speck of an airplane, but security forces here are obviously alarmed enough uh, not only to tell people to, uh, to uh, keep some distance from the building, but to take immediate cover. Can you tell me a little bit more? Well, actually, let's look at these live pictures at the World Trade Center. The other tower of the World Trade Center has just collapsed. You are looking at live pictures of the second twin tower at the World Trade Center collapsing as a result of the crash of an airplane into its side. That, I believe, was the first tower that was struck this morning at 842 oh, Eastern geez. Time. You're not there. Okay. That is now... No. You know? The fall into the ground and the profile collapse. of Manhattan has been changed. There's been a declaration of war by terrorists in the United States. There's Pat nothing Dawson, short of that. Pat Dawson, excuse me, Tom, is down at the scene. Pat? Where's Wing? Where's Wing? Where's Wing? Pat, can you hear us? Obviously, there is, there is pandemonium downtown. Pat is not far from the World Trade Center, as you can hear from the sirens. And you can only imagine the confusion and the terror that is in that area after not one but both you need. Trade Center towers have now collapsed. More than 100 stories of steel, concrete, electrical. Here it is.
That's a videotape replay.